Hey guys, SJW Central here. Today we have a very juicy clip for you. We'll play it and then talk about it afterwards. So make sure to drop a like on this video, share it around and check out the source in the description. But before we begin, I want to thank today's sponsor, Exquisite Jewels, where you can buy the perfect necklace for your significant other, especially now with Valentine's Day right around the corner. Get yourself a necklace in either rose gold or silver saying I love you in 100 languages. I bought one myself a couple of months ago and my girlfriend loved it. So the link is in the description, guys. Check it out. What was your reaction when you saw that? Did you agree that the teens were being rude? Or do you think that it was kind of propped up by the media to be painted something that it wasn't? That is a good question. Um, um, Who do you think was being disrespectful? You really got me cornered on this one. <laughs> Um, can I switch questions? The teenage boy, he didn't lift a finger, he didn't do anything bad, but he was smirking and that in itself shows his white privilege. That shows how he thought that he knew that with his power all he had to do was think that that guy was funny. That's all he had to do. Well, when the initial headlines came out, I thought that they were definitely one-sided in some aspects and I think that's what the media does a lot is they change they change certain things to fit one view or another, so I don't think that was fair for the kid. Um, but I do think that he respect he didn't respect the values. It didn't look like he was doing anything necessarily too wrong, but the disrespect annoyed me. Like, I don't think he should have had that smug grin and standing so close to him. He was representing his white privilege, and he was representing how he doesn't need to do anything, and all of these people will come to his defense because of his color. I don't think anyone, especially someone under the age of 18, should receive a death threat for supporting Trump. Did you see the videos of the black Hebrew activist group that was telling those kids they were f***s and they were going to hell because they were white and they deserved to be sent back to Europe and have their intestines strewn all over the ground? Yeah, but... And no one, no one in the media has done anything about those guys. Do you think maybe that's black privilege? There's no such thing as black privilege. No such thing as black privilege. I'm not the biggest fan of you guys. I'm not gonna say shit like that though, but I put a picture of me getting interviewed on social media and I had like five people swipe up saying like shooter, kill it. Not like they would, but still, I think it's messed up. I still don't know what truly happened. I wasn't there, but to be honest, like the kids still shouldn't have shouted the things that they said. I mean, to where did they shout? From what I heard, they were yelling like to build a wall, and they're all nope, just... that's not true. Okay. Looking at his face, I was like completely enraged because all you could see was just like his smug look. Looking at a Native American, that it looked like he was just playing his drum, and like the kid had just walked up to him, and all these kids were laughing at him. So I was com completely enraged. Yeah. It sounded like they were completely heckling him. Like you said, it's completely rude to have people scream at yeah. you and, you know, have them all in your face and just, like, smiling and, like, yeah. mocking him. It was yeah. horrible. Smiling and, like, yeah. mocking him. It was yeah. horrible. When he released his statement, he said that he wasn't being racist at all. And he said he has no racist intent with how he approached that situation, but he totally did. It's 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 hard to say he did. It's hard to say he didn't. It was national news and like within like two hours of it actually happening. And it's crazy to see that like his life can be affected and you know he's not gonna be able to get like a steady job probably or like his college you know. So you don't think he deserved that? I don't think he deserves it, but he definitely should take responsibility for what he did and also like and all If you legalize ranch you can sleep with my wife. Have you seen any of like the other footage that's coming out in like the mainstream media and prominent blue check marks on Twitter having to like delete their tweets? It's like I can't I can't I don't know how someone can watch those videos and try to defend those boys. That's just my personal opinion. So what do you think they're guilty of? <laughs> I don't wanna say that I mean like she has a camera on my face and then like everyone would come up against me. What's wrong? You wanna tell the camera what you said? You know, InfoWars says more than just one camera here. You should probably watch what you say. Would you say it if there wasn't a camera? I don't really... I'm a black male. <laughs> Period. Okay, and I'm a white woman. What's that have to do with anything? 
just like shook me down a hole and just went like. No, you were talking about our characteristics. I don't know what that has to do with anything. Statistics. If those cops were to see me do anything, it would be me against you. Statistically, white people are killed more often times than black people by cops. Oh! Are you willing to disavow all the all the death threats and all the threats against the students at the school? Are you willing to disavow all of those towards them? No. They're minors. You don't you think you think I'm minors sorry. should be <laughs> getting death threats? They like they were at their march. He was trying to bring peace to their land that they're trying to take. So and they're just no, going against, they, like, we already they're took going it. like this in his face while he's chanting the uh, songs of his ancestors. So I don't really, they knew what they were doing. They are acting ignorant. I know they've been asked to go visit the White House, which I don't think is a uh, good consequence that they should receive. That seems like something that would be, in theory, a positive. Um, I think they need to see some negative repercussions for th what they've done. Done. You won't disavow okay, that? Like, so you want to look Will at you disavow that? Like, Will you disavow that? Will you disavow what? People calling for his school and his classmates to be shot up. Will you disavow that? I don't really care. Okay, I can't talk to someone like you. That's that's disgusting. What are those repercussions? What are the negative things that they should have to face? Maybe community service is one possible thing that they should do to reciprocate or something along those lines. He said that those kids deserve, deserve to be shot up. That's okay. I'm saying I can't Bro, care for them one way or the other. Bro, they would look at me and probably call me a so I don't give a I really don't. I like that's my that's my opinion. Do you understand that? I understand your opinion. I just think it's disgusting. The women yes. that wear short skirts. Do they deserve to be sexually harassed? It's whatever the they want to wear. It's 20 19. So they don't deserve it. No. Then those kids don't deserve to be shot up because they wore a MAGA hat. They're acting ignorant. What if the girl's acting stupid and leading a guy on? Does he have a right to have sex with her? <laughs> you saying you won't disavow everybody it, life, if life happens, you get what's coming to you. you oh. what's coming oh. to so you're wearing a cuff cap hat. Yeah. When you saw everything that happened with that school being in the media, what was your initial reaction? Um, this is all overblown because we've had this stuff happen before. Um, a few years ago, actually, it was my junior year, when we had the blackout theme, we accidentally played an all African-American team. And it, we got on the news for that. And we were like, how are we this stupid? Like, we didn't even think of it. So it, was, it wasn't no. intentional. No. We actually love all, like we are, I'm gonna be straight up. We're like pretty much all white. And I don't necessarily love that. It's just kind of a thing because in Northern Connecticut we are. But the few minorities we have, we love. It sounds terrible and sounds like when Trump's like my African American over here, but like we love him. And uh, so it's completely innocent. You did not mean anything by that. Oh no. And even some of the kids who are like calling it out now, like some of the alum, they all did the same things and they're, they're now acting like they didn't and acting and getting on their own. Kind of covering their own ass. Yeah, it was terrible. So, what do you think about the threats that have been made against your, you know, classmates, I guess, since you're an alumna now? What do you think? Does it does it hurt? Does it? Are you like why? I don't really care because the joke when we went there was if a school shooter ever did came in, they wouldn't get very far with a school of 600 boys, and like we would get threats every once in a while, like somebody would call in, like oh, there's a bomb in the principal, which is kind of like blow it off. I would like to point out that gentleman right there said that those that school kind of deserves those death, death threats and kind of deserve the calls to be shot up. He wouldn't disavow it. What do you think about that? I don't understand because uh, I don't know how people could do that. Go Colonels and uh, don't believe fake news. Have a wonderful day. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Sorry for what's happening to your classmates. So the first part of the video with the chick with the glasses shows you how much these people actually believe in the microaggression bullshit they spew out. Take yourself to five years ago, could you imagine the fact that being a white guy smirking would be a quote unquote racist act? How ridiculous can we get? When the reporter goes on to point out the fact that the media didn't cover anything regarding the EDS behavior of the black Israelites where they yelled homophobic and racial slurs at the mug hat wearing kids, 
Suddenly she has zero issues with them doing it since they are not a Trump supporting white male. And the other girl saying that the kids shouted things at them like build the wall which wasn't true at all just goes to show you how misinformed the public can be when the first coverage is false. People don't tend to watch corrections of stories like this and usually the correction itself is not prominent enough because it brings light to how fake mainstream media really is. But guys, if you ever smile at a minority, it means you've done it with racist intent. I mean, come on, why else would a white guy smile? So next time you smile at any minority, make sure to take responsibility for this heinous crime. I want you guys to notice how when she interviewed that black guy, he is instantly going to the I'm a black man route. He was smug the entire interview and when he was given the most softball question of them all, basically disavowing all the shit those kids went through, just for wearing a hat, he said he can't disavow it. And what the hell does this guy have on his nails? That guy's refusal to disavow school shootings when it came to those kids' school really show you how hypocritical these SJWs can be when it comes to the other side. They have zero morals. They are just tribalistic, victimhood, complex ridden assholes that poisoned academics and our entire culture. This is the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe. If you want to help out this channel, make sure to support it through Patreon or subscribe star. The links are in the description below. Also, make sure to follow us on Instagram or Facebook for glorious SJW related memes daily. Thanks again. See you in the next video. Hello, my name is Jane. I'm social justice based.